finna do again. We're finna go fly these monuments. And it's gonna be epic. Morning, Chris. Yeah, doggies. Should be pretty cool. No pre-flight shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful sunrises I've ever seen right here right now boom so cool Monument Valley yeah yeah this trip has been so epic and I guess technically I'm just past halfway because I still gotta work my way back home there's no telling what sort of excitement may happen from here on out shoot totally digging it though Totally. Oh, I'm ready to get on the sunny side of these monuments and surf these dudes. That's going to be so wicked. I'm sure they don't even look big in the video, but I promise you these things are big. There's a wind gradient here or something. Turbulence. Yeah, yeah, there certainly was. Just went through a wind gradient. So that wasn't rotor. I had a tailwind and now I got a headwind. Alright, so I think I'm good now. Funky. This thing looking down, I would be scared. But I'm not scared under my wing. Hey, there's a bird perched. Soar it with me, buddy. Soar it with me. Oh, wow. Gotta get a picture of this. I'm getting 19 feet per minute down right here. Oh, wait, 50 up. We're soaring. We're going up. Nice. Nice! <laughs> I'm soaring the monuments at Idle. How freaking cool is that? How freaking cool is that? Check it out. Monument Valley. Nice. Hey, future Kyle. Looks like my GoPro card filled up and I lost the rest of the video, which wasn't too exciting. So here's some pictures for visual effect. Enjoy. Outro time. Yes! Also, man! Favorite part of the para carnival? The rotors. I love the rotors. What was your least favorite part? The rotors. <laughs> favorite part of para carnival? The last flight, which was just a little bit ago. Yeah, it was awesome. What was the worst part of Para Carnival? Going Following home. you around, not knowing where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say having to go home. I'm gonna have a hard time flying to Kansas after this. <laughs> Be easy peasy, man. Oh man. We're high altitude masters now. Oh, the worst part. Cut my wing. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Montez. Yeah. What's your favorite part of Para Carnival? Oh man, checking out all the awesome destinations, exploring. Yes. What's the worst? Hanging out with the homies. It was the worst part. Doesn't get much better than that. Shoot. Uh, can't think of it. <laughs> look here, look here. Look yeah. here. Here's what Chris done every day. Chris was like, okay, I gotta go back to Denver. Then he sees us pulling out, he's like, oh, I can't take it no more, you know? <laughs> so every day he follows us. <laughs> yeah. I'm, Chris, Good where time. you going? Oh, I gotta head back to feed my guinea pigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good times. <laughs> Rachel? Oh. I don't know. That's tough questions I'm asking. <laughs> My favorite thing about para carnival? I don't know, that's tough. I don't know, I guess everything going on without a hitch. Least favorite thing? Being away from my family. I miss my family. I'm finna bail, head back toward that way. 
camping here next to my new German neighbors. They're touring the country from Germany. They're making like a western loop out toward western Utah. Started in Vegas. They're crossing paths with me here. We end up camping next to each other. A very cool family. The children don't speak English, but the adults do. We talked for a long while last night. Shared a beer. It was fun. I'm finna hit the road before it gets blazing hot. See if I can get some AC blowing on the situation. I don't want to spend a hundred degree day in the desert. I'm going up to high altitude again. Here we go. side of the road having some peanut butter in Coyote New Mexico and this gust front came through like oh, like blowing all the door shut insane wind going on yeah yeah gusting like 40 has to be it just shut the truck in the camper door at the same time all right, Tim. Better take cover, I guess. <laughs> All right. They say you, they say you love. It's gone. It's gone. I, I, I made it to Taos, New Mexico. Out here at the airport, and there's a gust front blasting off of the storm back here behind us. It just hit the winds were coming out of the south, south southwest, and then boom, it hit hard from the northeast. So it may be flyable. If not, I may just chill here for tonight. I like I like this wide open plain in the mountains. Not tonight, I might fly in the morning. It's at 7,000 feet, so it's gonna feel good tonight camping. This is gonna be the post up tonight. y'all i'm about to fly taos new mexico with colin here he's a local ppg guy he's gonna show me around i think we're gonna fly under a bridge over at the gorge we're gonna do it up right this time wind totally switched on us it's interesting i'm recording all right clear Huh. I do know. I'm so yeah. the land down there. I guess we're gonna see. Oh freaking wow. Check this out.
That was cool. Too cool for school. Yeah. Nice. How about that, dude? You're so much faster than me. Yeah, well, I let the trims out. Oh, that wing, yeah, that wing is is a fast ship, dude. It how, is. How many? It was a little bumpy. Nothing, nothing scary. Yeah, it you know. too bad. That was awesome. It's good. It's good. Better than it would have been last night. Oh my God. <laughs> Just flew Taos, New Mexico with Mr. Colin Hubbard back there. He took me over to the something something gorge bridge. We flew under the bridge. <laughs> Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Very exciting. I'm gonna go hit some breakfast and then it's back on the road for Kylo. Thank you. Pulled over one of these historical marker sites and uh, it's telling me that these two are mounds out here in the Great Plains. They're called Rabbit Ear Mountain. And when the settlers used to come from Oklahoma migrating out west, that was an important landmark. It's the first thing they could see to know they were going in the right way because it's just grass out here. It's a sea of grass, the occasional bush or tree, but there's really no reference points. It's just rolling hills of grass. When they saw that, they knew where they were. Navigation point. It's an expansive place. I got about 11 hours to home. I'm pushing pretty hard today. I'm ready to get home. I miss my family. I know my work misses me. It's been a fun trip. Everything has gone very well. Man, I don't want to jinx it before I get there. So, on the road. Made it home. That was a long ride. Fair carnival's over. Whew. What a ride, man. What a ride. That was an amazingly long ride. Somewhere around 4,000 miles. Yeah, right at four grand. <laughs> Oh, back to a world of green and rain and tractors. And, oh, done with the desert for a while. I'll be back, though. We're going to do it again. Thanks for coming along with me. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Call out. <laughs> <laughs>